Arab cuisine Arabic, MTBKH Arbi is the cuisine of the Arabs, defined as the various regional cuisines spanning the Arab world, from the Maghreb to the Fertile Crescent and the Arabian Peninsula. The cuisines are often centuries old and reflect the culture of great trading in spices, herbs, and foods. The three main regions, also known as the Maghreb, the Fertile Crescent, and the Arabian Peninsula have many similarities, but also many unique traditions. These kitchens have been influenced by the climate, cultivating possibilities, as well as trading possibilities. The kitchens of the Maghreb and Levant are relatively young kitchens that were developed over the past centuries. The kitchen from the Khalij region is a very old kitchen. The kitchens can be divided into the urban and rural kitchens. <laughs> Diet and foods The Arab cuisine uses specific and sometimes unique foods and spices. Some of those foods are Meat, lamb and chicken are the most used, with beef, goat. Other poultry is used in some regions, and fish is used in coastal areas including the Mediterranean Sea, Atlantic Ocean or the Red Sea. Pork is completely prohibited for Muslim Arabs, being both a cultural and religious taboo haram and prohibited under Islamic law, whereas many Christian Arabs do eat and enjoy pork products, especially in Lebanon and Egypt, where cold cuts of ham are frequently consumed in Christian neighborhoods. Dairy products – Dairy products are widely used, especially yogurt, buttermilk and white cheese. Butter and cream are also used extensively. Herbs and spices, the amounts and types used generally varies from region to region. Some of the included herbs and spices are sesame, saffron, black pepper, allspice, turmeric, garlic, cumin, cinnamon, parsley, coriander and sumac. Spice mixtures include baharat, ras el hanu, zada, harissa. Beverages, hot beverages are served more than cold, coffee being at the top of the list in the Middle Eastern countries and tea at top of the Maghreb countries. In Jordan, Palestine, Egypt, some parts of Syria, Morocco, and Algeria, tea is much more important as a beverage. Other Arabic drinks include Andalusian horchata and Maghrebi avocado smoothie. Grains, rice is the staple and is used for most dishes, wheat is the main source for bread. Bulgur and semolina are also used extensively. Legumes, lentils are widely used in all colors, as well as fava beans, chickpeas, garbanzo beans, scarlet runner beans, green peas, lapini beans, white beans, and brown beans. Vegetables, Arab cuisine favors vegetables such as carrots, eggplant, aubergine, zucchini, courgette, artichokes, okra, onions, and olives. Potatoes are also eaten as vegetables in Arab culture. Fruits, Arab cuisine favors fruits such as pomegranate, dates, figs, oranges, citruses, watermelons, cantaloupe, honeydew melon, grapes, peaches, and nectarines. Nuts, almonds, peanuts, pine nuts, pistachios, and walnuts are often included in dishes or eaten as snacks. Greens, parsley, coriander and mint are popular as seasonings in many dishes, while spinach and maluhia leaves from the plant of the Corcoris genus are used in cooked dishes. Dressings and sauces, the most popular dressings include various combinations of olive oil, lemon juice, parsley, or garlic, as well as tahini sesame paste. Labana strained yogurt is often seasoned with mint, onion, or garlic, and served as a sauce with various dishes. <inaudible> Bedouin kitchen The Bedouin of the Arabian Peninsula, Middle East and North Africa relied on a diet of dates, dried fruit, nuts, wheat, barley, rice, and meat. The meat came from large animals such as cows, sheep, and lambs. They also ate dairy products, milk, cheese, yogurt, and buttermilk labna. The Bedouin would also use many different dried beans including white beans, lentils, and chickpeas. Vegetables that were used a lot among the Bedouin are variants that could be dried, such as pumpkins, but also vegetables that are more heat-resistant, such as aubergines. They would drink a lot of fresh verbena tea, Arabic tea, Maghrebi mint tea, or Arabic coffee. A daily break to freshen up with drinks is a much-loved tradition. The bread that is eaten a lot is called kobes as well as khalij, in the Maghreb regions. Dishes such as marka, stews, tagines were prepared traditionally among the Bedouin. Breakfast existed of baked beans, bread, nuts, dried fruits, milk, yogurt, and cheese with tea or coffee. Snacks included nuts and dried fruits. <inaudible> 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 
Topic: Culture. Essential to any cooking in the Arab world is the concept of hospitality and generosity. Meals are generally large family affairs, with much sharing and a great deal of warmth over the dinner table. Formal dinners and celebrations generally involve large quantities of lamb, and every occasion entails large quantities of Arabic coffee or Arabic tea. Khalij Coffee ceremony In the Khalij region, a visitor is greeted by a great table of dried fruits, fresh fruits, nuts and cakes with syrup. Dried fruits include figs, dates, apricots and plums. Fresh fruits include citruses, melons and pomegranate. Arabic coffee is served the most, but Arabic tea is also a great refresher. Spices are often added in the coffee or other drinks. Dinner guests in the Khalij region, a visitor might expect a dinner consisting of a very large platter, shared commonly, with a vast amount of spiced rice, incorporating cooked spicy lamb or chicken, or both, as separate dishes, with various stewed vegetables, heavily spiced, sometimes with a tomato-based sauce. Different types of bread are served with different toppings specific to the region. Tea would certainly accompany the meal, as it is almost constantly consumed. Coffee would be included in the same manner. Topic. Maghreb Tea – Coffee ceremony – In the Maghrebi region, a visitor might expect a table full of bread-like snacks, including m semen, bagreer and other stuffed breads. These are served with honey, rosewater or olive oil. There are also many different cookies and cakes included accompanied by plates with different kinds of nuts. Arabic coffee and mint tea is often served with it in a traditional Maghrebian teapot. Dinner guests, in the Maghrebi region, a visitor might expect a table with different kinds of stews, also called murkas or tagines. Dishes such as couscous or other semolina-based dishes are much appreciated as well. These main dishes are accompanied by smaller mez like plates with salads, sauces and dips. Breads such as m semen and kobes are used to eat the stews. Levant. Coffee – Tea Ceremony In an average Arab Levantine household, a visitor might expect a table full of mezes, breads topped with spices including zata and nuts. In the Levant, Arabic coffee is a much-loved beverage, but Arabic tea is also much loved in Jordan and Palestine. Dinner guests In the Levant, a visitor might expect a table with different kinds of mezes, nuts, dips and oils. Mezes include hummus, baba ganoush, falafel, kiba, kafta, smoked vegetables and tabbouli salads. The nuts can differ from almonds to walnuts, with different spice coatings. The dips and oils include hummus and olive oil. There are many regional differences in the Arab cuisine. For instance, mujadara in Syria and Lebanon is different from mujadara in Jordan and Palestine. Some dishes, such as mansaf the national dish of Jordan, are native to certain countries and rarely, if ever, make an appearance in other countries. Unlike most Western recipes, cinnamon is used in meat dishes, as well as in sweets such as baklava. Dishes including tagine and couscous can differ from Morocco to Libya, each having their own unique preparation. Other dishes, such as the Arabo-Andalusian bastila or albendigas have different traditional spice mixes and fillings. Topic. Structure of meals There are two basic structures for meals in the Arab world, one regular and one unique to the month of Ramadan. Topic. Breakfast Cafes often serve croissants for breakfast. Breakfast is often a quick meal, consisting of bread and dairy products, with tea and sometimes jam. The most common breakfast items are labna and cream kishta, made of cow's milk. <inaudible> Lunch Lunch is considered the main meal of the day, and is traditionally eaten between 1.30 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. It is the meal for which the family comes together. Rarely do meals have different courses, however, salads and mez are served as side dishes to the main meal. 
The platter usually consists of a portion of meat, poultry or fish, a portion of rice, lentils, bread and a portion of cooked vegetables, in addition to the fresh ones with the mez and salad. The vegetables and meat are usually cooked together in a sauce often tomato, although others are also popular to make marica, which is served with rice. Most households add bread. Drinks are not necessarily served with the food, however, there is a very wide variety of drinks such as shinina or laban, karakadan, nakaya al-zabib, irq sous, tamr hindi, and fruit juice, as well as other traditional Arabic drinks. During the 20th century, carbonated soda and fruit-based drinks have also become very popular. Dinner. Dinner is traditionally the lightest meal, although in modern times, dinner has become more important with regards to entertaining guests due to the hours of the workday. <laughs> Desserts and Ramadan meals In addition to the two meals eaten during Ramadan one for dinner and one for sahur around 2 a.m., sweets are consumed much more than usual during the month of Ramadan. Sweets and fresh fruits are served between these two meals. Although most sweets are made all year round such as kanafe, baklava, and basbusa, some are made especially for Ramadan, such as kataif. Iftar <inaudible> <inaudible> Iftar also called future, or fast breaking, is the meal taken at dusk when the fast is over. The meal consists of three courses, first, they shall eat a date based on Islamic tradition. This is followed by a soup or anything they would like, the most popular being lentil soup, but a wide variety of soups such as chicken, oats, frika a soup made from whole wheat and chicken broth, potato, mosh, and others are also offered. The third course is the main dish, usually eaten after an interval, when Maghreb prayer is conducted. The main dish is mostly similar to lunch, except that cold drinks are served. <laughs> Sahur Sahur is the meal eaten just before dawn, when fasting must begin. It is eaten to help the person make it through the day with enough energy until dusk. Regional Arab cuisines Algeria Arabian Peninsula The cuisine of Eastern Arabia today is the result of a combination of diverse cuisines, incorporating Levantine and Yemeni cuisines. Bukhari rice is a dish eaten in the Hejaz, Saudi Arabia. It is a rice with spicy tomato sauce, flavored chicken and a fresh salad. It is a very popular dish in the Hejaz district of Saudi Arabia. Egypt. Egypt has a very rich cuisine with many unique customs. These customs also vary within Egypt itself, for example, in the coastal areas, like the coast of the Mediterranean Sea and Canal, the diet relies heavily on fish. In the more rural areas, reliance on farm products is much heavier. Duck, geese, chicken, and river fish are the main animal protein sources. While Egyptians eat a lot of meat, Egyptian cuisine is rich in vegetarian dishes. Three national dishes of Egypt, full medames, tamia, also known in other countries as falafel, and kushari, are generally vegetarian. Fruits are also greatly appreciated in Egypt. Mangoes, grapes, bananas, apples, sycamore, guavas, and peaches are very popular, especially because they are all domestically produced and are available at relatively low prices. A famous dessert from Egypt is called Om Ali, which is similar to a bread and butter pudding made traditionally with puff pastry, milk and nuts. It is served all across the Middle East and is also made on special occasions such as Eid. Bread is a staple in Egypt, the most common breads are Aish Baladi Arabic, Ish Albaldi and Aish Marera Arabic. Ish Mer Topic: The Fertile Crescent, Mashriq Levantine cuisine is the traditional cuisine of the Fertile Crescent. 
Although now divided into Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq, Egypt, and Palestine, the region has historically been more united, and shares most of the same culinary traditions. Although almost identical, there is some regional variation within the Levantine area. Dishes include olive oil, zada, and garlic, and common dishes include a wide array of mez or bread dips, stuffings, and side dishes such as hummus, falafel, ful, tabula, labana, and baba ganoush. It also includes copious amounts of garlic and olive oil, often seasoned with lemon juice. Almost no meal goes by without including these ingredients. Most often foods are either grilled, baked, fried, or sautéed in olive oil. Butter and cream are rarely used, other than in a few desserts. Vegetables are often eaten raw or pickled, as well as cooked. While the cuisine does not boast a multitude of sauces, it focuses on herbs, spices, and the freshness of ingredients. Topic. Levant, Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, Jordan In Palestine and Jordan, the population has a cooking style of their own, involved in roasting various meats, baking flat breads, and cooking thick yogurt-like pastes from goat's milk. Moussakan is a common main dish, famous in northern Jordan, the city of Jerusalem, and northern West Bank. The main component is taboon bread, which is topped with pieces of cooked sweet onions, sumac, saffron, and allspice. For large dinners, it can be topped by one or two roasted chickens on a single large taboon bread. The primary cheese of the Palestinian mez is akawi cheese, which is a semi-hard cheese with a mild, salty taste and sparsely filled with roasted sesame seeds. It is primarily used in kenafa. Makluba is another popular meal in Jordan and central Palestine. Mujadara, another food of the West Bank, as well as in the Levant in general, consists of cooked green lentils, with bulgur sautéed in olive oil. Mansaf is a traditional meal, and the national dish of Jordan, having roots in the Bedouin population of the country. It is mostly cooked on special occasions such as Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr, a birth, or a large dinner gathering. Mansaf is a leg of lamb or large pieces of mutton, on top of a markuk bread that has been topped with yellow rice. A type of thick dried yogurt made from goat's milk, called jamed, is poured on top of the lamb and rice to give it its distinct flavor and taste. The dish is garnished with cooked pine nuts and almonds. Levantine cuisine is also famous for its wide range of cheeses, including shanklish, halom, and arishé. Kishk is also a famous Syrian soup, alongside many soups made of lentils. Lebanese food also has a wide range of dips including hummus, baba ganoj, and labna, and also caters many raw meat dishes. Syrian food could be either extremely vegetarian or a meat lover's paradise. Lemon, oregano, zada, paprika, and various other Mediterranean spices and herbs are used in Syrian cuisine. To top it off, Levantine cuisine also incorporates wines made in Lebanon, Syria, Jordan and Palestine and the Levantine equivalent of the Greek ouzo, known as Iraq. Iraq Iraq is where the first cookbook was ever recorded in history, historically in Baghdad and Mesopotamia. Iraq is one of the oil-rich Arab countries surrounding the Persian Gulf and is also part of the Levant and Mashriq sharing similarities in cooking and cuisines between both the surrounding regions of the Arab world. Iraqi cuisine mainly consists of meat, rather than appetizers. In Iraqi cuisine, the most common meats are chicken and lamb. The national dish of Iraq is the mazgouf fish, usually enjoyed with grilled tomatoes and onions. Iraqi cuisine uses more spices than most Arab cuisines. Iraq's main food crops include wheat, barley, rice, vegetables, and dates. Vegetables include eggplant, okra, potatoes, and tomatoes. Pulses such as chickpeas and lentils are also quite common. Common meats in Iraqi cooking are lamb and beef, fish and poultry are also used. Soups and stews are often prepared and served with rice and vegetables. Biryani, although influenced by Indian cuisine, is milder with a different mixture of spices, and a wider variety of vegetables, including potatoes, peas, carrots, and onions. Dolma is also one of the most popular dishes. The Iraqi cuisine is famous for its extremely tender kebab, as well as its tikka. A wide variety of spices, pickles, and amba are also extensively used. Libya 
Libyan cuisine derives much from the traditions of Maghreb and Mediterranean cuisines. One of the most popular Libyan dishes is bazin, an unleavened bread prepared with barley, water and salt. Bazin is prepared by boiling barley flour in water and then beating it to create a dough using a magriff, which is a unique stick designed for this purpose. Pork consumption is forbidden, in accordance with Sharia, the religious laws of Islam. Tripoli is Libya's capital, and the cuisine is particularly influenced by Italian cuisine. Pasta is common, and many seafood dishes are available. Southern Libyan cuisine is more traditionally Arab and Berber. Common fruits and vegetables include figs, dates, oranges, apricots, and olives. Libyan kitchen also includes hot spices, like Tunisia. Bazin, Libyan bread, bsisa, couscous, harissa, hassa, labrak, filled grape leaves with rice and minced meat, Libyan borik, Libyan summer salad, marka or tagine, madruba, m batten, mbekabka, a unique Libyan soup with pasta or spaghetti. Instead of the European way of boiling pasta or spaghetti in water and then throwing the water away with all the goodness it contains, the Libyans boil pasta with the sauce, which adds a real pasta flavor to the sauce. You can make it with any type of pasta, and the simplest dish involves frying onions in oil, throwing in the tomato puree, chili powder, turmeric, then adding water and salt and leave to boil, before adding the pasta. But the proper way to do it is to add some lamb chops, chickpeas and garlic to the sauce. Serve hot with a sprinkle of extra virgin olive oil, lemon, fresh chili and crusty bread optional. One can also add other vegetables such as pumpkin, potato and green pepper, magluba, shikshoka, sherba, usban, zumita and acida. Desserts and beverages includes, makrode, Libyan tea, goriba, makroon, mafrika and malbia. Maghreb Maghreb cuisine is the cooking of the Maghreb region, the northwesternmost part of Arab world along the Mediterranean Sea, consisting of the countries of Algeria, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. Morocco Main dishes Bastila Arabic, beast the pancake is a traditional Moroccan tart filled with pigeons or chicken. Harira Arabic, riart a traditional Moroccan tomato soup consumed during the holy month of Ramadan. It is a thick soup with beans and vegetables in it. Taktuka Arabic, tikakt a traditional Moroccan salad made with tomatoes, onions, coriander and smoked green paprika. Zaluk Topic. Breads and pancakes Kobes Arabic, kachbis a type of bread consumed with broths such as tagine. M. semen Arabic, msmn the word M. semen is derived from smen, clarified butter widely used in Arab cuisine. M. semen is a type of bread that is consumed on its own with honey or olive oil. Bagrir Arabic, brir a type of pancake with many holes in it, consumed in Morocco and other Maghreb countries. Harcha Arabic, hersht a type of bread made of semolina, consumed in during breakfast or during high tea, together with honey or butter. <laughs> Moroccan spice mixes Chermula Arabic, shrew a marinade used to flavor fish or seafood and other meats and vegetables. Chermula is often made of a mixture of herbs, oil, lemon juice, pickled lemons, garlic, cumin, and salt. Ras el Hanu Arabic, Ras alhan Ras el Hanu means, head of the store, and is an Arab spice mix made with 20 or more spices and herbs. Harissa Sweets and pastries Shabakia Arabic, shkit shabakia is derived from the Arabic word, shabaka, meaning, baskets, is a traditional pastry eaten during the holy month of Ramadan. Kaab el Ghazal Arabic, Kb al Ghazal Kab el Ghazal literally translates from Moroccan Arabic as, gazelle ankles. These crescent-shaped cookies are famously known as gazelle horns, or cornes de gazelle in French. They are frequently served at special occasions, including Eid and visitations. 
Almond paste scented with orange flower water and cinnamon is enclosed in a delicate pastry, molded into a crescent, and then baked until golden. A dip in orange flower water followed by a dusting of powdered sugar is optional, in that case, the pastries are referred to as Kaab el Ghazal Mafen. Brioit Arabic briwat, brio means, little envelopes, in Arabic. It is a pastry made by wrapping a filling in thin pastry dough and then frying. The fillings might be savory or sweet. In the popular almond brioit version, the pastries are filled with fresh almond paste flavored with orange flower water and cinnamon. Once fried, the pastries are then given a short soaking in hot honey for flavor and sweetness. Almond brioats are commonly served at both special occasions and casual tea times. Topic: <inaudible> Sudan. In comparison to its Maghreb and Levantine neighbors, the cuisine of Sudan tends to be generous with spices. The Sudanese cuisine has a rich variety in ingredients and creativity. Simple everyday vegetables are used to create stews and omelets that are healthy yet nutritious, and full of energy and flair. These stews are called mullah. One could have a zucchini mullah, spinach, rigla, mullah, etc. Sudanese food inspired the origins of Egyptian cuisine and Ethiopian cuisine, both of which are very popular in the Western world. Popular dishes include full medames, shahin full, hummus, bamiya, a stew made from ground, sun-dried okra, and garasa pancake, as well as different types of salads and sweets. Topic: <tunisia>, Tunisia. Topic: Yemen. The cuisine of Yemen is rather distinct from other Arab cuisines. Like most other Arab cuisines, chicken, goat, and lamb are eaten more often than beef. Fish is eaten mostly in coastal areas. However, unlike most Arab countries, cheese, butter, and other dairy products are less common, especially in the cities and other urban areas. As with other Arab cuisines, the most widespread beverages are tea and coffee. Tea is usually flavored with cardamom, clove, or mint, and coffee with cardamom. Karakadin, Nakaye al-Zabib, and Dibaa are the most widespread cold beverages. Although each region has their own variation, salta is considered the national dish of Yemen. The base is a brown meat is called marak, merku a dollop of fenugreek froth, and sahaak or sahauka a mixture of chili peppers, tomatoes, garlic, and herbs ground into a salsa. Rice, potatoes, scrambled eggs, and vegetables are common additions to salta. It is eaten with flat bread, which serves as a utensil to scoop up the food. Other dishes widely known in Yemen include, asida, asid, fasa, tharid, samak mofa, mandi, fada, shikshoka, shafut, bint al-san, kabsa, and jaknan. Nasi kebulai haraz hyderabadi halim. Hadrami restaurants can be found in Malaysia. Dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Topic Gallery Topic See also List of Arab salads